the players champion is alongside me Chris Murphy Paul Nicholson what have you made of it all so far really enjoyable there's been some iconic moments already from Bob Anderson great performances Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. from first Peter first Manley first and of course from Kevin Robert Thornton who has set the benchmark so Team far on. but that benchmark could be worried by two guys who really are stage players Painter said it many times I don't like playing on the floor. I like playing on the stage. 60. Yeah, Robert Thornton, if you are just joining us, averaged 94.66 in that 3-0 victory over the 1988 world champion Bob Anderson. Since then, we've seen 43. Peter Manley come from a set behind against Dieter Hedman to set up that mouth-watering showdown with Taylor. The winner of this one will take on 100. the only reigning world champion in the field Wayne Warren lies in wait excellent point made Wayne Warren winning that tournament two years ago 86 not going to get his hands on a different piece of silverware this week but I have to say nobody's talking about Wayne Warren everybody's talking about other people in the draw including Kevin Painter seen as one of the favourites in this half of the draw 45 Tony O'Shea just retrieving his flight Painter throwing some decent stuff in his opening leg 105 that's a better first start for Tony O'Shea you can see those darts one hundred. That lovely upright Kevin angle. Ninety-six. With Kevin Painter on ninety-six, looking at the sixty, should stay on that lie. Is he going to go double double here? No, he's old school, of course. Double eight. eight Close, eight. but no cigar. He does have time on his side. Yeah, no checkouts. For Tony O. One hundred and forty. Kevin, you require eight. A double four for Painter. And in he goes, and Kevin Painter, Kevin Painter. Like gets the to first leg of the first set. And what he hopes is his first match of many here at the World Seniors Dance 100. Championship. Yeah, for Tony O'Shea, it's a very similar story to Dita Hedman, of course, losing in three 100. different world finals to three opponents. For Tony O'Shea, it was Edward Hankey. Christian Kist and the last of the three being Scott Waits who beat him in 2013 Painter on 401 here after scoring 100 in his opener 85 and that gets him down to 316 100 that's a very colourful shirt isn't it that was seen from Kevin Painter. He always used to wear black or blue, just very understated colours. But in 99. the last few years, he really has gone to town with the printing of these dart shirts. He's got every colour under the sun on that shirt. It is rather fetching. 100. Painter on 217 before this visit. He's looking to. Leave a finish 100. here, and he does that. No check out for O'Shea. That's the dart he's looking for. He can bank on top of that first dart. It's a 137, but it's 117 for Painter, and he can't finish 117 starting with a treble one. That's not ideal. So he leaves 80. Tops for Tony. Great guide and used to great effect leg. to Come level up this say. match. Survey Kevin to throw to level up this opening set. Two holds of throw. Painter has the darts in leg three. And Kevin is looking fairly 100. well. Bit slender. He's lost a bit of weight over the last couple of years. It's always very pristine as Kevin Painter. Always got the shiniest shoes in the room. Perfectly tailored trousers. 95. Never a hair out of place, Kevin Painter. 
the man oozes pride when he takes to the hockey and he understands that he's got a really tough encounter tonight against an opponent he has never played yeah, astonishing that this pair have never done battle before apologies for the lock at loss of score graphic paint here on 261 ahead of these darts Thank you, Juan. so it'll be 180 when he comes back 306 for O'Shea before these 40 well that leaves 266 he might have to use the 19s next time around Painter staying straight a lot of the time here Banks are 140. And like I said, O'Shea on 266 goes south first. He's not going to leave a finish. 83. Kevin Yu has teed up tops to regain the lead. Over the top. No score. He won't be happy with that. But with O'Shea north of a finish. He can put it right next time. One leg all in the first set. One Great 140 from Moshe. But it is second chance at tops for Painter. Game shot the third Clinical line. this Tony time for a 2-1 lead in the first set. First. Game on. One more leg from Painter in this set. And he will be one third of the way to victory. One of the so we might see some yeah. chest thumping now from Tony O'Shea. There it is. That's a definitively Stockport style of night as we get a backed up 180 from Painter who gives it. This game could deliver. Now the party started. Oh, what a party. Pace that would have been from Silverback. The bounce out. Denying the prospect of a nine dart attempt. But Painter's still on it. Not anymore. 101. Tony O'Shea, of course, did hit a very famous nine darter to win a car. And he wasn't even supposed to win that car in that tournament 59. a few years ago because he was the second to hit the nine in that tournament. Taylor hit it first and won the car. And it was negotiated that Tony would also get a prize 55. for hitting that nine darter. 142. So 142 starting on treble 20 the modern player would go treble 17 therefore One I agree 42 left for Tony O'Shea to keep this set alive Painter not on a finish now where does O'Shea go 43. here on 42? 42 does he go 10 or 2 it is a 10 double 16 now is that dart in the way of double 8 Game Absolutely not. Flags. Two Penalty. legs all in the first set. Two this is a good contest. Pass. Game on. And it's down to a one leg shootout to see who wins set one. Yeah, decent darting ding dong between this pair of exchange maximums at the start of the last leg. One of the and legs. Kevin Painter produces yeah. perfection once again. This is a very good game. Well, you were talking about it before at the start of this match that Kevin Painter, the artist, you can stick a few more points on his average just when you put him on a stage and he is 95. proving to be a big stage player again. He's retired from PDC darts. He's not interested in going to floor events on the Pro Tour or Challenge Tour should he do that. He wants to just do exhibitions and, and things like this. Absolutely right. He's an adrenaline player. He gets something from playing in front of people. And it's working once again. Oh, that last start didn't work, though. Apologies once again for the lack of graphics over the last few legs. We seem to have them back. You can see Painter now on the cusp of taking this first set. 1-4-5 away. No dramas. One treble will do. We may look at the bullseye. 54. Tony on 283. Needs a couple of trebles to leave a finish. So it has to be spot on from here, but. 82. Struggling to get in the same postcode as Painter in this leg. 
It's treble 17 for double top. At least 74. And now with single 20 to leave tops. 51. The next time he is at the board because he does have that visit guaranteed. So tops for Painter when he returns. 201. Tony O'Shea is on here. 60. Kevin you require 40. For the set. For the artist. Off target over the top, edging closer. Game show and in, first set. and Kevin Painter, Kevin Painter does take a very hard fought set first, first set, set Tony to throw here first. at the World Seniors Darts Game Championship. On. Tony O'Shea was right with him for most of it, but Painter put in a decent sprint at the end of the set and probably deservedly leads in this 100. match. I'd absolutely agree with that, Murph. An average of 90 in that set. It proves that he is still playing at a very competent level. He's gone through a few changes of equipment over the last few seasons, but these new darts that he's using are pencil-like, they're light. They're very, very akin to what he was using in the early part of his career. And O'Shea has never really deviated from what he uses as he pounds that chest and banks a max 60. with those javelin style darts and those Brit flights that he has always used and he squares up the 180 tally at two apiece Tony O'Shea runner up at the world championship at the lakeside in 09 44. 2012 and 2013 most recently to Scott Waits also runner up in other major finals as well always the bridesmaid really Tony O'Shea maybe Sunday night here will be his turn to toss the bouquet yeah 13 BDO titles in his career 130 but maybe it's a title that wasn't a BDO title that's his biggest achievement he won in 2009 the World Cup singles with the WDF in Charlotte North Carolina and believe me World Cup singles is a big deal. Tops. Now tens for the first leg of the second. 30. Well, that one seals way above. Just a bit too safe there, man. All a bit messy. Now, which way does Painter go here? Treble 17 for two double tops, he fancies. He fancies it. But he's over the top. Now has to play it safe with the next start. Did the right Don't thing. O'Shea can't have any confidence going for this, can he? Obviously not. How does he feel on double two? Game shot on the Very good side. indeed. Tony O'Shea. As he wins the leg, but Second only leg just. To throw first. Game on. Well, the Owl Mask is a precursor to our next match. The Owl Richie House, and who lives just a couple of miles down the road from the Circus Tavern, taking on the Dazzler. Daryl Fitton in the curtain closer on the opening evening here at the World Seniors Darts Championship. You've got to think, if O'Shea and Fitton have been in the same practice room for the last One few hours, Fulty. it will feel like a trip down memory lane for them to be in the same practice room, but maybe not location-wise, because Fulty. O'Shea and Fitton didn't play at this venue in a competitive sense ever until tonight. 43. Tony O'Shea, in fact, wandered up to the practice room at one point this evening and was refused entry. He wasn't wearing his wristband. 58. And he took it in good spirits, did Tony O'Shea, as that kind of guy, isn't he? Absolutely right. He's one of the nice guys of the sport. 100. He's been around playing world class stuff for over 20 years. But Painter, been around since the mid 90s. 59. And during the mid 90s, he did have a terrible haircut. He used to hang around with Bob Taylor of Scotland. He had one heck of a mullet back then, and I'm not going to let it slide, Kev. I thought you were going to say something nice. It's all right, he's fixed it now. He's looking very sharp in 2022. 11 years since that. Only major Don't title. He won at Doncaster Dome the Players Championship Finals a year after you won, Paul. 93 for O'Shea can still be done. Not now. But Painter. 53. Kevin, you require 92. Now what do you do? Do you go 60, or do you try the 25 route? 
stay there the guide is perfect that's what he did he could have gone for two double a teams but having that guide for me it was the right shot a bit of breathing space great guide not guided in double ten that can be a little bit of a problem with O'Shea's free flowing throw moving around the board is difficult isn't it he wants to stay there the last thing he wanted was a dart inside on the 20 then painter looking to show him how it's done this is how you make the switch tony team shot on the second leg kevin painter can i borrow your crystal yeah, ball Murph? very well called team on but very well analyzed as well because you can see this lack of aim from tony o'shea he's a chucker he gets the dart in his grip comes straight back and through whereas painter does aim there's that calibration of that prod right there. 81. Dark comes back, Dark goes through. He spends more time aiming than Tony does. He actually took a very slight step across to the right. Before 96. taking aim at that double ten as well, Kevin Painter. Yeah, some players do that. They go left and right depending on which double they've got left. 100. I know you've returned to this venue a couple of times of course it's where you won your PDC major title the players championship finals Kevin Painter reached a world championship 85. final here the most famous match he's ever played in one of the most famous matches ever in darts how, how will he feel wandering back here being back on that stage I think he said with Helen earlier 140. good and bad the scene of some great wins but ultimately his greatest heartache which I'm sure is quite complex to think about. 45. But ultimately, you've got to think about the now. And the now looks pretty bright for Kevin Painter, even though. 45. It's not for, say, a PDC World Championship or anything like that. But this is something that could rewrite his own history to get his name on that trophy. What but look way! at that 180 from O'Shea. Magnetized stuff. So just to confirm here, it's one each in this second set. Paints having taken the first. He was on 135, looking for the 25 old bull. O'Shea is on 72 by virtue of that maximum. 16s was the target. Now it should be 14 for bull. There's the single. 47. Aaron really misses the bull. And Kev has got 87. So for 2 1 in the second set, double 18 the target. Not happy about something there, Painter. The little forensic inspection of his flight. Took a step back Game and pinned the double. The and Can Painter edges ahead in the second set. Ball O'Shea ball having missed darts to win Game on. the last couple of legs. And the artists 1 0 up in sets, now 2 1 up in legs. Biggest leg of the match for Tony O'Shea. Because going into the comfort break after this, potentially this leg, he might be staring at a two set deficit. Forty-one. A reminder one match still to come this evening on the opening night of the first ever World Seniors Darts Championship Daryl Fitton, the Dazzler taking on the local qualifier Richie House, and I say local qualifier it wasn't a local event, it was an open event for any player over 50 to play in but it just so happened that the man who lives 10 minutes down the road made it through. Well we will get into that when they play it but it will be Richie Housen's biggest match of his life 85. Bad deflection for Painter into the small five there. Gives that dart a bit of a scowl. Pretty. Same goes for Tony O'Shea, but he double dips into the five there. To the glee of Painter, who is dipping his bread. 100. Very effectively, but only comes up with one treble 20 there. He'd be disappointed with that. Fifty-three. 
Kevin Yukar, 116. 116 for the set then. then. He's got the 60. He's got the 16. Has he got tops? 70 Just over the top. Tony O'Shea knocks on a finish. The painter will return. 54. Kevin Yukar, 40. The double top to double his lead in sets. Double ten. Done it before and he's done it again. Kevin, Kevin Painter. Painter. He's on. always been a perfectionist, has Kevin Painter. He'll be cock a hoop that he is two sets to nil up. But I don't know about you, Murph. I think he looks in pretty good touch. A strong start to this leg. 135 from Painter. There's a lot of strength 60. in the middle of England where he lives. Rugby in Warwickshire, he calls home these days, even though he is originally from Essex. 100. So the likes of Matthew Edgar and Prakash Jiwa, who are on his doorstep, I'm sure have been practice partners over the last few weeks. But here comes O'Shea. 140. You can just tell how these dark players are feeling by looking at their face. We all pay attention to the left-hand side of the screen, but sometimes just deviate your attention to their facial expression. You'll find out how they feel about their visit that they have just constructed. 60 for the ball. Would have taken the first leg of the third set for Painter. 57. He's going to come back for 72. One out of and the score of Tony O'Shea has dwindled. 72, like I say. And that leaves double 12. The Commanding stuff from right. Kevin Painter. Kevin Painter. It was two Second sets to nil up. And now one. one leg up. And what could be the last set of the contest if Tony O'Shea doesn't find more resistance. One out of well, maybe the best form of defence for Tony's attack. But Painter doing plenty of attacking himself with purpose. 125. There is no defence in darts, Murph. We all know that. You can't affect what your opponent is doing while they're at the hockey. You just have to wait. We'll put that theory to the test okay. tomorrow when Phil Taylor takes on Peter Manley. Good point. Because... Peter's going to try everything. 91. We'll be having it large tomorrow night here at the Circus Tavern. Kevin Painter having the time of his life at the moment. Very businesslike, but as I say that, he goes a little wayward. 25. Tony Rukar, 170. We've had a couple of cracks at this tonight. We're going to have another one. 84. Not bad. Painter takes a timeout. Very symptomatic of the kind of player he is. When he's not comfortable, he does take that little timeout at the back of the stage. Deep breath, look at the shoes, then attack. Tony Rukar, 86. So treble 18 will be the first port of call. Now treble 14 to get to the double 16. But once again, he's in the wrong bed. If he misses, 54. it tends to be low. It's that sign of a bit of tightness in that right arm. He's got a bit of time on his side, but doesn't want to be 80, allowing Clark, Painter 52. a shot at the finish. So double 16 needs to go. And he in he goes. The second leg. Tony O'Shea, Tony O'Shea levels up this set. Pass. Game on. I'm amazed that these two have never played each other, Murph. Absolutely 45. flabbergasted, in fact. Because when Tony O'Shea was coming through, around the turn of the century, Kevin Painter was already an established pro. 140. Around the year of 2001, where Kevin Painter picked up a memorable victory against Philip Taylor in the Grand Prix. That's when Tony was coming through, but Painter, still a fabulous player, proving it and showing his fans out there who've come dressed up 
and he wants to win this title first job is to win this set and to take himself through by three sets to nil to face like you said Murph the reigning champion of the world Wayne Warren well O'Shea trying to switch not to any great effect good guide for Painter 81 what we're seeing from some players tonight is that their third dart is letting them down they're not getting the right deflections towards the central part of the 20 they're getting ones and fives you recall 157. 157 for Painter just trying to shrink the score now and doing a fine job of that 97 well no finish for Tony he can find himself a leg away from elimination here if Painter comes back how oh, was that not found the 60 unbelievable look for O'Shea but it's tens for Painter for 2-1 in this set fives another adjustment needed 35 Tony Rukar 128 big ask for O'Shea the 1-2-8 treble 18 the target was wayward on this but this time he finds it now does he stay there or is it treble 14 he is treble 14 for double 16 96 what an attempt w from Rukar Tony O'Shea five. for a moment Painter thought about busting his previous shot he'd be glad he didn't it's a wow from Painter, but he has got double two. It was almost a single 20, but it is five checked out to put himself within one leg of winning this first round match at the World Seniors Championship at Perfleet. So he's 2 0 up in sets, 2 1 up in legs. Tony O'Shea has two in a bed. 140 to start. Painter, that was just seemed to have bossed this match, has been the aggressor. 81 just always there or thereabouts the legs he loses is not far away I can say from experience playing Kevin a lot of 45. times over the last 14 years that when you play him you know he's there he's got a presence about him he's got a swagger in the walk well, but there's a relaxed nature about him tonight as well as being focused I think this is a sign of a happy Kevin Painter and he's going to be very happy if he gets over the line in this leg. Sixty. Great first start from Tony O'Shea. It's got to be. One out of four. Devastated with that. Painter looking to leave himself on something handy here but is the tightness in the arm going to be found here as he gets close to the finishing line 50 Tony Rupar 76 so to stay alive 76 double top oh he gets it Tony O'Shea Force has a deciding like leg in this Rupert. third set Game on. trying to avoid a whitewash defeat in sets but Kevin Painter has the darts well the mindset of painter is get it done now do not start 140. without trebles and he's got two of them terrific 140 but look at this for an answer from O'Shea 361 for both players Painter zoning and he wants to get the job done here he does not want any drama on that stage once 60. again but only 60 off it 281 for Painter sorry 301 for Painter a lot less for Tony O'Shea who finds a maximum to leave 1-8-1 one one. Painter's in trouble maybe not in the set score 60. So he leaves 2-4-1 and O'Shea has got a 60 point advantage and has stolen the darts away the artist seemingly about to 97. brush his opponent aside but O'Shea 
back in business it seems. 2-4-1 for Painter, O'Shea on a finish. Has to hit a treble. And does to leave 150. Double 12. Double 6. And it's in from Tony O'Shea. Tony O'Shea. Who takes the third set. And keeps this game going. It's Tony to throw first. Now the dynamic changes, doesn't it? Because Painter's thinking, I'm going to get this done. And quickly. Two players upstairs, Fitton and Housen, were thinking, we're going to be on in 10 minutes. I've got a news flash for you guys. You may not be on for another half an hour if Tony O'Shea's got something to do about it. 100. There's a focus and a belief now about Tony O'Shea. Thinking, after all of the heartbreaks in his career, he might just find something to smile about in the next 20 minutes if he can just get some momentum that first start is starting to work he is noted in his career as a big 180 hitter trying to just maybe pick up the pace a little bit here and be a bit frustrated that he hasn't won in straight sets you could just see him a, a bit more of a spring in his step, a bit more urgency from the artist. 140, give me a kind of 161. Going along with him, Silverback. 161 for Painter, not going to go. I always thought this was going to be the best game of the night. It's turning out 55. to be that way. 106 65. left for Painter. But O'Shea has missed the single. Missed the single 16. Four. Kevin Rukar, 106. And gives Painter a chance in the first leg of the fourth. Could stay there, treble 18 usually, but it's a good lie, and that's what he fancied doing, Kevin Painter. Now he wants 66. It's just a bit more stress on the face of Painter now. And this okay. is the beauty of set play, isn't Tony it? Kevin 32. He was a leg away, wasn't he? Now he's three legs away. And if Tony O'Shea can hit double 16, he'll be behind in set four, he and he does hit double 16. Tony O'Shea. And all of a sudden, Kevin Second Painter Kevin is feeling the pinch in per fleet. Come on. It's got a familiar ring to it, hasn't it? Nobody talks about the wins he had in 2004 getting to the final. They all talk about the final that he lost, which I think is a bit of a disservice to Kevin. It's the same. For Tony O'Shea, who maxes once again. He really is starting to find that inner ring now with that 60 bed. They talk about 60. the losses to Kiss, to Hanky, to Waits. They don't talk about the great matches he's had in World, Champi World Championships and beyond. Oh, just a little slip from O'Shea, 42. though, here. 42 scored. He's on 279. Kevin Painter on 306. Got a switch. 140 leaves 166. He doesn't want to do that. That is superbly intelligent execution from the gods to leave 129. 150 ahead. 279, as I said, for O'Shea before these darts. Doesn't leave a finish. So Painter here has six darts at 129. May change his approach with his opponent not on a checkout. It's 60 bull if he fancies it. Do you, Kevin? Do you? No. In a word. And I think that was the right play. Professionals like to back themselves with three darts at the outer ring. But that one, two, one leaves Tony O'Shea on a two daughter of 100. 32 for Painter. He left it. Double eight now. Game show nice. On the second leg. Levels Painter. things up in the fourth. Tony to throw first. It's an intriguing contest that is two sets to one to Kevin Painter. But after losing that third set, there is a little seed of doubt. Uh, Painter took the first two and was a leg away from victory in that third set. O'Shea won it. 
The first two legs have been shared in this one. One hundred and thirty seven. Fascinating that Kevin Painter has decided 100. to go back to that small cylindrical dart with a very light weight, but he's now using a black stem and a black flight. That's not a setup that I'm used 25. to associating with Kevin. But if he's going to miss the 60, that's where he wants to miss it. 100. The grouping of Painter tonight has been really good. And in patches, O'Shea has been excellent as well. But overall, the better player has been paying at 41. And there have been more visits like that from Tony O'Shea than there has been from Kevin Painter. Needs to readjust here and does so very effectively. 100. Tony needs to hit big, and he is hitting big. 141, Kevin O'Carr 116. Saw this earlier from Bob Anderson. What a guide for the 60 that is. Just didn't pitch it up enough and he's amazed that he didn't hit it. 60, Tony O'Carr 32. Double 16 then for O'Shea, once again. That could be tricky. Tony steps Game across and he the finds leg. the top corner Tony of the O'Shea. bed. If you look at the size of the dart that Tony O'Shea uses, it's about as long as you'll see on any tour. To bypass 45. that dart and find the top 10% of that 32 bed, that was an astonishing shot from Silverback. 60. It now puts him a leg away from squaring up this match. Really pivotal moments here at the Circus Tavern. Kevin Payne to remember he led this match by two sets to nil. He'll remember that he led Phil Taylor by four sets to one in that famous final, that famous World Championship final. He's probably glad he can't 85. hear you. I don't think he wants to be reminded of that, but that does emphasise the complexity of set play. You're never out of it. Just think about the World Championship Finals, like Phil Nixon against Martin Adams, Jockey Wilson against Eric Bristow, 89. We could go on and on. 140. This match may go on. Tony O'Shea can carry on. 83. Apologies again for the lack of graphic. My quick adding up had O'Shea on 231 before One these the not anymore that's for sure Painter's outside the finishing zone O'Shea is firmly inside it 83 Tony McLeod 36 well I was slightly out but Tony hasn't been out <laughs> not a bad miss Game could have been, missed that double 18 missed Tony by that O'Shea. much but you hit a four and get darts a double 16 and now it's two apiece and this one well it could be a very familiar story for Kevin Painter because not only is he in a deciding set on the Circus Tavern stage but it's one in which it does go to two apiece he'd have to win by two clear legs and if it goes to five each we have a sudden death leg interestingly enough Kevin just tapped his watch just before the start of this leg, where he's swung first, of course. Is that 100. some sort of psychological tactic to stay focused? But he really is in trouble here. He hasn't played poorly at any point in this match. But the fact of the matter is, O'Shea has improved in sets three and four. Yeah, I'm not sure Tony O'Shea is a man who could ever be accused of slowing anyone down, so maybe it is. The tactic to get himself going. Painter on 2 6 1 before 85. these. 85. Tell you what, those owl masks are selling well. 
I bet you Richie Housen's going to get a really good reception when he takes to the stage. But how long will it be when he takes on Tonio's best pal, Daryl Fitton? Uh, good switch from Kevin Painter. Just doing the sums. 96. Tony well outside the finishing zone here and needs two trebles to get to a finish. Big trebles, Tony, not small ones. Well, he does find a small treble 59. there. Kevin, you require 80. 80 required for Painter. 20 required for Painter. He gets exactly what he needs and Painter back in charge, back in front. Game on. That's what's needed right now from Kevin. Poise. Not so much patience, it's about 100. just taking your time and staying within rhythm. He's held through in leg one, now he's got to attack. That's what he's doing. Should be a 140. Is. 140. To follow the 100 from O'Shea, so he's outscored him at the first turn when attempting to break. But O'Shea responds in kind. Got to see at this juncture, Murph. They've never played each other. Why not? It's oh. been really good. We're enjoying it. They're enjoying it. 85. The crowd behind them are certainly enjoying it. Who will be smiling at the end of the match? 43. Well, he went down for treble 17 there to try and leave a finish, but he's on 218, O'Shea. Painter before these darts, 276. One out of Splendid. Three. Second and third dart from Kevin Pianna to leave 136. In leg two of the fifth set. 83. Kevin Yukar, 136. If Tony O'Shea does get him down to a finish, but 136 for Painter. 60. Tony Yukar, 135. Well, it's got to be bull first, doesn't it, with 135? 25 60 ball. There's the 25. Doesn't get anywhere near the 60. 49. Kevin you require 76. So 76 for Kevin Painter. 16 for tops. Double top. Kevin Painter wants to double his lead in what he hopes 56. is the last set, but he's missed the chance Tony to do so. 86. 86 for Tony O'Shea to level up at one apiece in legs. It's two each in sets. Biggest shot of the match for Tony O'Shea. It is the bullseye. 41. Seals over the top. 20. And Paint has got the chance to double his lead in the final set of the contest. He's currently 1 0 up. At two sets all, double ten. Double five now. What a guide. Game Splendidly done. First show of real emotion oh. from the artist. And he's now got a couple of opportunities Good to get this done without a tiebreaker. Yeah, he's got himself embroiled in a battle, Kevin Painter. A battle he doesn't think he should be in. But the release of emotion there, the aggression came out. Kevin Painter has a little look again at Tony O'Shea. It's a small stage. The thing is, if Tony stands at the back of that waiting area, he's still going to be close. There's no tactics here. 100. You might mistake Kevin's somewhat impression of Grumpy Cat, even when he's 2 0 up in the final set, as being grumpy. It's no. Because he's just trying to stay focused, trying to stay aggressive. Well, look, if you handed Kevin Painter a calendar, he'd say there was a day missing, wouldn't he? Yeah, why is there only 12 months instead of 13? But something that seems to fire him up, finding something wrong in his own head 95. so he can get himself fired up. And a fired up Kevin Painter is a better painter. A very entertaining one as well. I've had a few little disagreements with Kevin, even though we have got on the majority of our careers. He is very tough to break down. But I made him right on those occasions. Thanks, man. 98.
I'm sure Tony O'Shea has just left 168 there. If he has, more fool him. As Painter does not leave a finish either. He hasn't left a finish. 168 is shrinking. 56. So 56 leaves 112. The score is shrinking. Painter drinking the water bottle in the background taking his time here the artist you need plenty of water when this stage is so hot it's, it's hilarious isn't it kevin painter tapped his watch earlier when tony o'shea was going at normal speed and then takes a good 20 seconds to throw himself 14. Tony O'Carr, 112. options here for 112. that's a good one so is that Being and is that as well Tony chance one O'Shea. for painter to close it out gone if he wins this like painter the contest is over but if O'Shea can hold here we're going to a tiebreaker on the Circus Tavern stage what a start couldn't follow but he pumps it right oh, Kevin Payne too well it's not the memory lane trip that he wanted it was all looking Easy for Kevin Painter in the early stages, but he finds himself once again embroiled in a battle on the Circus Tavern stage. Can he put some darting demons to rest? Now he does have a little bit of a mantra, Kevin Painter. If you don't know about it, it follows him around. Because he's said it so many times. How's your look? We make fun of it. He's not thinking about luck right now. You make your own luck, Kevin. Well, let's flip that around. Tony O'Shea certainly has made his own luck. But a couple of times he's been as good as dead and buried and he's produced very good clinical finishers to keep himself going in this match. Absolutely right. They've both come together and made a great contest. Kevin Painter on 266. 140. Tony O'Shea now on 196. This simply has to leave a finish. And it's not going to. But what it does do is put Kevin Painter 11 points ahead on 185. No treble spells trouble. But never mind that because Tony's found two. 185 for Kevin Painter, but O'Shea will come back for a two darter. This is far from over. Painter knows he's now embroiled in a war. This has got to find something sizable. 65. It's not a bad switch to leave 120, 56. but it's 56 to take us to the tiebreaker. Double four. And it's a miss, 52. which offers Kevin Painter 120 Kevin to win 120. the match. Shanghai shots to avoid overtime to avoid the tie break and potential sudden death drama here at the Circus Tavern he might have to go for balls here was it the right play to say Tony the way his four. darts fly I think he made the right call because he can sneak them to the right and high but for 2-2 two, two, it's double two Madhouse no score. and it misses Kevin you require 90 90 for Painter Simple equation, Murph. 20, 20, bull. Twenty. Needs the bull. Sixty-five. Tony, you require four. Missed it last time by some margin. Can he find it? It's blocked. He can sense the tension and the nerves. A drop dart which he can retrieve and use. Madhouse again. Game Different result. Four flag. And it's Tony two O'Shea. legs all in the final Ladies set. Ladies and gentlemen, as the match has reached two sets all, two legs all in the final set, the match must be won now by two clear legs. Should the match get to five legs all, the 11th leg will be a sudden death decider. Paul Two legs, Kevin Dubuque first. Explaining Game on. where we're at. Kevin Painter throwing first, two all in the final set. That means tie break. One of the Kevin Painter starts for the maximum. 
Mr. Match Dart on the bullseye, Kev. And his look was as if to say, 100. I knew it was going to miss anyway. He hits a maximum. And his facial expression is, where have you been? 44. They haven't been in this situation for a while. But this might just rekindle a few memories from <laughs> World Championships past. Well, you couldn't write it, could you? Painter on 277 after that maximum to start. This first leg of the time break. Wouldn't win if he wins this leg, has to win another. It's often forgotten, but Kevin Painter has been involved in multiple 65. sudden death shootouts in a World Championship match. Yes, we could talk about this stage, this venue, 2004 against Philip Taylor in the last leg shootout, but a few years later he played Matt Clark in the first round at Ali Pali and came out on 92. top by six legs to five in the last set. So he has got form of winning tiebreakers in World Championship matches. 85, can you require 90? Kevin Painter here to get this fifth leg. But as it's in the fifth set, we remind you, need to win by two clear. This time goes for the treble 18. Tony nowhere near. 50. Well outside the finishing zone here, O'Shea, but will be inside it now. 100. Can you require 40? Just got to find this, whether it's dart one, two, or three. He prefer number one. Now number two. Game Gets number two legs. and is Can now back in position to Tony win this match. Left. But Come unlike on. before in this set, when he was 2-0 up, he only has one opportunity to get it one done. If it goes 3-3, same situation as the tiebreaker started at 2-2. No bullseye, by the way, if it does go down to a sudden death leg. So Painter does have that advantage. He can just keep holding his throw. What's your thoughts on Wayne Warren waiting for the winner of this one? Is this match going long and deep good for Wayne Warren or bad well feet up he'll be watching it but I think we've seen flashes from both players that they're going to be a tough opponent for Wayne so maybe mixed emotions have you been in that position yourself Paul where you've seen a, your opponents backing out late into the night the night before you're due to play them never paid any notice you would have had to win a first round match I suppose <laughs> that's true 100 usually out by then I remember in a World Championship match against Kevin Painter and he gubbed me four sets to nil. That one hurt, Kevin. 60. That visit will hurt him. Only 60. So, Tony O'Shea looking to level up in this dram dramatic deciding set. 41. There's Jane. His partner in the crowd, I'm sure she is having nerves shredded. Look at that grimace from Kevin Painter. Look at the snow. Both players just becoming a little bit laboured as this match goes into extra time. 41. Everybody in here at the Circus Tavern is engrossed in this one. It really is a tense tungsten tussle. A slight snatch of that second 18. dart is a sign Tony of tension. 139. 139. Could go 19's first here. There's 57 of them. Lee's 82. Brilliant. 131. To leave double Tony four. 104. This is an opportunity though for Kevin Painter. It really is. A 1 0 up. In this tie break hundred and four he's looking for nineteen can still be done I don't know why he didn't go for treble nineteen there he had an assist don't just above the fifty seven it would have left double fourteen there was a potentially 
match winning shot for Kevin Painter he's on his six now legs. he's got all the Come work to do way. again has to win two legs Seven one each in the tie break Came on. three each in this final set when you've been here before you have to believe that you can 14. do it again there have been so many great last set deciders on this stage previously 45 and let's not forget the last time we were here at the Circus Tavern was 2019 and the winner of the World Masters in that occasion 100. was John O'Shea he showed a lot of gumption a lot of fortitude in winning that title against Scott Waits in the final the man who denied Tony O'Shea his third BDO World Final some adjustment there from O'Shea after that first dart low to get the 140 100. gets him down to 316 Painter now down to 261 100 terrific last dart to put himself a maximum away from double 18 261 for Painter needs to switch 60 he says rubbish but is it O'Shea who's going to hit the front? If he wins this leg, he's a big favourite to win this match. He's on 76, Painter on 201, and in more trouble now than he has ever been in this match. It's a remarkable 22. reversal of fortune. Don't you require 76? It is the case of how's your look for Kevin Painter. As Tony O'Shea has a look at 76. Oh, well, first of all, I was surprised that he didn't just stay there, having potentially 44. blocked the ball top. He's then missed a big number. Leaves 32 in the end. Painter not on a finish, unable to take advantage. It's all about what Tony O'Shea does next. A little 139. bit of an effort to leave Tony double one there from Kevin Painter if he'd have hit the 57, but it's double 16 for O'Shea to take the lead in this set by four legs Team to three and he has he will Tony now have the opportunity to win this last set by five legs to three hey, if he can Tony hold one first. more time Game on. it's all turned around and the turn around is in Tony O'Shea's favour Painter in disbelief 40 O'Shea a leg away but it's only 40 for starters twists and turns still to come 80. Kevin Painter wants to win this match without going to a last leg shootout he has to win the next three legs straight he's got to get level then he's got to get in 55. front and then maximise that position he's only got two scenarios left win 6-4 or go to a last leg shootout he would take either of them right now he's losing lifelines 82 big 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 moments coming up here 59 great first start and again 123 doesn't like the switch but 1, 2, 3 he will take to get himself closer to a finish now 60 Painter, 2-1-6. 60. So it's only a big finish. Tony O'Shea should be joining him in similar territory. Just remember that Tony O'Shea started 59. this leg. Can you call 156? If Painter breaks back, it's game back on. Needs another for double 18. What a catalyst they were, this would be! That's a He's catalyst! And Painter draws Kevin level Painter. at four legs all in the last set. He's got no idea how it went in, but we do, because nice he hit two Kevin trouble Kevin 20s in double 18. Game on again! Game Best on. of three legs now! Well, it's an artist masterpiece. Conjured up by Kevin Painter. He doesn't know where it came from. Four apiece in this deciding set. And as Paul was saying, Painter needed to win three 60. on the spin to win the match. 
He can't afford to lose this leg. No more legs after it. Uh, could not have afforded to lose the last one. 81. Made sure he didn't in emphatic style. Kevin Painter, four a face. We're not going to get a winner at the end of this leg. There's a huge, huge opportunity here for Kevin 85. Painter. He obviously wants to go through this game to play Wayne Warren to continue his quest for that stunning trophy. But in this position, I'd be saying to myself, this is an opportunity to slay the ghost of 2004. If he can come through this, 28. some of the demons from 18 years ago will disappear. Forty. It's just incredible, isn't it? Takes out the 156 and then spluttering and stuttering again. As the match 16. nears its end point, an end point that Kevin Painter thought was coming an hour ago. Maybe it should have done, but this is why we love set play. It's so complicated, but simple at the same time. 96. Tony O'Shea really, really wants to take this leg. To have the option to serve it out in the 100. next leg. Kevin, you require 164. But for the lead in the last set. What a dart. Not to be with dart number two. 96. What can Tony do? Can he pressurise? 188 required. Before these darts, Painter on 68. Kevin, you require 68. Treble 20 for double four. Or is it treble 16? 44 remaining. Kevin Painter just checks. I really didn't expect him to go that way. Change of tactic from Painter. It's tops. And it is now five legs to four Kevin to Kevin Painter from the brink. He has woken up. Like it's Tony to throw first. He can now go for broke to win it by six legs to four in the final set. But if he doesn't, it's a one leg shootout. 47. Well, look at him. Look at Kevin Painter trying to G himself up and then trying to calm himself down again before he throws his opening darts in a leg that he really wants to win and avoid that unwanted 100. return to a last leg shootout here at the Circus Tavern. Oh, he doesn't want to go to that last leg shootout, that's for sure. Tony O'Shea does. 100. Steady. He turns up just like Painter did in his first three darts. So 354 points for Tony O'Shea, left remaining. 140. Now just 261 for Kevin Painter. He's in the box seat. Look at him strutting around. He thinks he's in 45. business here, and he might well be. In fact, in this whole match, this is the best opportunity Kevin's had to win it. Even from two 85. sets to nil up. But he still hasn't left to finish, and from 3.09, O'Shea still can. Two treble twenties needed to do so. For some reason, he stayed there. 58. 176 for Painter. Turns into 175. Uh-oh. Doesn't 24. save it. But he has got himself onto a finish first with a little bit of a buffer. Well, look, he took out 156. Maybe he can take out 152 to win the match. O'Shea needs a treble, 57. can't get one. Kevin, you require 152. So six starts from 152 for Kevin Painter to extinguish some demons. Double 16 to avoid the sudden death shootout. 136. He'll be back for double eight. He hasn't had a match dart in an eternity. The last one he got was at the bullseye. I think that was about six legs ago. But he's going to get three 53. more, and they're a double eight. 16. Team Painter think it's over, is it? Double four. Twelve. It ain't over. Not yet. Tony Rukar, 140. And how would he feel if O'Shea 
was to clean up this 141. Sick as a chip, he would feel. But he's not going to. 89. Painter comes back. Kevin, you require four. The double two. The pressure mounts. He takes a timeout, but he's ready. It's twos for the win. Game shot, and Kevin Painter, Kevin Painter puts his pain at the circus.